In the United States, a blood-sucking parasite is staging a massive comeback. It's taking over cities, invading people's homes, and drinking their blood. It's the bed bug. Bed bugs are hard to detect and even tougher to kill. At the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, Louis Sorkin is an expert in bed bugs. If you suspect bed bugs in your home, uh, a good inspection is required. That's exactly what Donna Kaminsky decides to get. She calls a local pest control company, and they immediately send their best search and destroy team. With a nose 1,000 times more sensitive than a human's, Roscoe is well equipped to find bed bugs. If they're hiding in Donna's home, Roscoe and his human partner, Peter Matisse, will find them. The beagle may be Donna's best shot at getting her apartment and her life back. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Roscoe gets to work right away. Let's go seek. Seek. He was very uh, fast and he just sniffed like the whole room. Seek. Seek. Finally, he gives the sign that he's located some bed bugs. <laughs> Show me. Show me. Good. He actually indicated by my suitcase. Good. That's when I had an idea of where the bed bugs came from. With the bed bugs found, Donna retraces her steps. I had recently been on a trip with my sister to Nashville, and I was staying at a four star hotel. And I, I was just shocked that that was probably the root of where the bed bugs came from. The bed bugs hitched a ride to New York in Donna's suitcase. As she unpacked, they crawled into crevices around her apartment. A week later, the bed bugs began to search for a blood meal in their new home. It was probably about 10 days after I um, came home from the trip that I started noticing the bites on my arms. The search and destroy team at Donna's house has a potent new weapon. Cryonite a frozen carbon dioxide spray. At minus 78.5 degrees Fahrenheit, this spray freezes the insects, causing their cells to expand and rupture, killing them instantly. Today, Donna and her apartment are bed bug free. And though she finally has peace of mind, she's learned to be vigilant. After this whole experience, I really learned that, you know, when I travel, I need to be looking at where I'm sleeping so I wouldn't have to go through this whole situation again. In the war against bedbugs, Peter and Roscoe are formidable opponents. But bedbugs aren't just spreading in New York City. Given their success in the modern world, bedbugs can be hard to avoid. But you can help yourself by checking the bedding and furniture when you're staying in a hotel and always inspect secondhand clothes before bringing them home. <laughs>